We Mars is a robotics club based out of Western University. This year, our team has nearly doubled to up to 40 active members working on the rover. This has allowed us to increase the difficulty and scopes of the projects we're working on. To do this, we've divided our team up into four different uh, groups, being software, science, electrical, and mechanical. My team is developing computer vision and autonomous navigation software. We're using the ROS framework for our project, which allows us to split each separate task into a different ROS node so they can run concurrently. Computer vision algorithms have been implemented with OpenCV on a stereoscopic camera, which will allow the rover to locate the tennis balls on top of the goalpost in 3D space. For path planning, we implemented an algorithm that takes a 3D mesh generated from the Z camera and calculates traversability heuristics, allowing the rover to find the best path towards the goal. Everything will be run on an NVIDIA Jetson TX1, which will allow everything to be run in real time. The goal of the science sub-team is to determine the likelihood that the soil can support microbial life using geological context and data from on-rover and in-lab analysis. A scoop attachment for a manipulator will dig 10 centimeters below the soil and collect samples. Temperature and pH probes are affixed on the end to take in-situ measurements. The soil sample will be carried into the onboard lab, which is equipped with a grinder that refines the sample and drops the soil into two easily removable compartments. One compartment will mix the soil with water and a pH probe will record measurements. The other will be sealed and removed for later analysis. In the lab, a variety of techniques are used to obtain important information about the soil composition and microbiology. Chemical reactions, color charts, and polarized light microscopy is used to determine mineral composition and nutrient levels. An optical microscope will also be used to obtain direct counts of bacteria within the sample. The electrical team has developed a system that incorporates safety, efficiency, and protection. There are two lithium cell batteries that provide power to the rover. The numerous motors on the rover use Victor speed controllers that are connected to our power distribution panel. This panel is also directly connected with the robot's main communication system, the RoboReel. The RoboReel allows for multiple analog and digital sensors in a compact and regulated space. The onboard science experimentation system's various sensors are all connected to the RoboReel and the voltage regulator module. To ensure that all the electrical components are protected, there is an acrylic casing around the entire electrical panel. This covers the larger circuit elements and most importantly, keeps the battery protected from any debris or moving objects. The WeMars rover consists of a six-wheeled rocker bogey system supporting a central platform. Each wheel has a motor contained internally to protect it from debris and obstacles. The rover can climb over obstacles of 42 centimeters in height and can navigate slopes with a 45 degree incline. The platform is kept level by a differential system and holds the manipulator at the front and the controls in the rear. The manipulator arm has 6 degrees of freedom plus two swappable end effectors, a gripper and bucket. Additionally, the arm can hold a mass up to 3 kilograms at full extension. The rover was initially constructed with aluminum, which makes it robust but heavy. Since the rover has already been constructed, the mechanical team this year is focusing on ways to lighten the rover. We have already started to swap some components with carbon fiber and non-essential parts with plastics. We will continue to improve our rover in the future. In addition to changing some parts of the rover with carbon fiber parts, our science and software teams are continuing to test new designs. We will be designing and building a drill and attempting to make our own mass spectrometer to better address the science portion of the competition. Finally, we will be improving our navigation system to make it more robust and able to better navigate the terrain. Our team looks forward to the future and the improvement of our rover. We would like to thank our sponsors for their contribution. Thank you for watching.